Hi everybody, my name is Claudette and I own a You Pick Flower Farm in Zone 7B, Long Island, New York. On this video, I wanna to talk to you about a different variety of, of zinnia that maybe you haven't heard of. I'm growing two types of varieties of zinnias on my farm this year, and last year I only grew one type. But when I was researching last year, I found this variety that said to put off more blooms. And I wanted a variety that would fill up my farm with blooms. So let me talk about the first variety. So last year I planted Venary Giants, and they are the typical zinnia that has the giant heads on them. And a lot of farmers like to grow the Venary Giants because they have the huge, huge heads and they are magnificent. But this is called the Oklahoma series, and I bought this for the specific reason. It has more blooms. This fills out the whole row, and you're gonna see the difference between the Venary Giants and the Oklahomas in just a little bit. So let me just show you the Oklahomas right here. They are beautiful. And I've been picking off of them all weekend and there's still so many stems to go around. Now, if you read about them, some of them say they are, the, the blooms are like a quarter, the size of a quarter, but mine are actually bigger than that. So I wouldn't say that those, these blooms are small. Yes, next to the Venary Giants, they are small. But for a client coming or a customer coming onto my farm, picking them, these blooms don't look tiny. They look gorgeous in the mason jar and they're like the perfect size. And also the great thing about this variety is they're more powdery mildew resistant. And that's really big for something like a U-Pick flower farm or just for any flower farm because you're gonna have less of that powdery white mildew and the blooms are gonna look better. So let me just pan down this whole row with you, okay? And look, and I'm gonna zoom in closer on the head so compared to, look at my hand, they're not, I mean, that's not a quarter size. Um, I'm gonna try and pick the tiniest one that I have here. So maybe something like this, this is a little bit smaller, but most of my blooms, look at how beautiful this one is, are pretty big, a decent size, and they have very nice long stems on them as well, as you can see, the stems are long. So this variety, I am so happy that I put this variety, because last year I felt like with the Venary Giants, I had beautiful blooms, but there weren't as many. So I was getting worried I wasn't gonna have enough to pick for customers. And I know that you're saying, no, you're probably crazy. But as you can see, as we get down here, there are a lot of Venary Giant blooms. But when I hold up the camera, this is not as filled in. You can see the spots here as this. And this to me on a Yupik flower farm is really what I wanna show my customers. And again, I'm not gonna get rid of my Venary Giants because they are beautiful, but I think mixing Venary Giants and Oklahomas is a great idea. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of this, uh, the zinnias of the Venary Giants. And yes, they are gorgeous and huge and I love them so much. Um, let's see, there's beautiful ones down here. Look at this orange one. It takes up my whole hand. So they are going well down here and they do have long stems. Um, but you can see there's more green as opposed to over there. And again, the susceptibility to the powdery white mildew is something that's also something to think about. So on my farm this year, I tried that variety, the Oklahoma, and I'm in love with it. I'm not gonna get rid of my Venary Giants, guys, don't worry. They're still gonna be here. But I think splitting them and having half and half so that I can have both is a great idea. And I think the smaller ones for the little kids, I think they, really love picking those too so i think it's a great idea they can fill out the bouquets in the mason jars and look absolutely beautiful all right guys so i hope you enjoyed my video on zinnias the two varieties that work best for me and i hope that you guys try out the oklahomas this is the mix but you can also buy them in just the straight colors i bought them in the salmon and in the pink and those will be growing in my other rows down there but they're succession so they're not really popping yet so, all right guys, comment below if you have another variety that you like of the zinnia that really fills out, maybe is powdery white mildew resistant as well. I'd love to hear about it. I'll see you guys soon.